So HTTPS, it's very important. We are talking about an SSL connection. SNA.armored.ro. So basically, the company is providing a portal for all the users to log in. Okay. This is the portal. Okay, so this is one portal. All the user, it doesn't matter which relationship you have with the company, either you're an employee, employee or you're a third party support or uh, you have a different relationship with the company. You connect here, everyone connects here. Now, if I am directly employed by the company, I can choose the first realm. If I'm a partner, maybe I would like to choose the second one. If I'm a third party or mobile user or whatever I am, I can choose differently. And this is actually configurable. Okay, so uh, IT administrator can configure as many realms as if he finds appropriate, he, she finds appropriate. But we will connect as an armored uh, employee. And I have a collection of users. One of them is the IT user. Uh, I have another one that's called sales user. Okay, and let's connect uh, to see uh, how it works. Login. Okay. And now my station is being checked to see if my station um, fulfill the security that the administrator wanted for me to, to fulfill. And apparently I do not. Okay. I am missing the component. Okay. And I have links. Okay. I have remediation links. Okay, I maybe my naming is not very good. I have put some links here, they're not active, but it, it, it can be in your infrastructure, of course. So if you click on it, you can have a web page to say, hey, if you don't, if you have an old system like Windows XP, you're not allowed to enter my network. If you have an old Android um, operating system, not allowed in my network. If you don't have an antivirus, you're not allowed on my network. So I can put some information for the user. Now you'll never guess what's missing. What's missing is actually that one of the security features is that you need to have Notepad open. Just open Notepad and leave it there, okay? So let's try again. I'm an IT user, I'm using my credentials, my Active Directory credentials, I'm being checked. My station is being checked to see if everything is okay. And wow, everything is okay. See, I've opened Notepad. The VPN is automatically connected in the back for me. Have you seen that? And also programs start to appear out of nowhere, like this remote desktop connection. So as an IT user, it makes sense to start remote desktop connection. Maybe I want to connect to a server of mine, okay? Let's put this on the background. And in the background, I told you to, to uh, look for the VPN tunnel. Let's go to details. So after I have connected to the portal, a VPN between my station and the company was automatically created, okay? Myself as a user, I'm, uh, I'm not aware about the security features, but an IT director is aware about it. And he wants, he, she wants uh, this automatic creation of um, uh, secured connection with the company, okay? So I have an automatic VPN tunnel. I hope you have seen it. And I have two pages of resources, okay? Some of the resources are plain and simple. I can connect the, to the web server of the company. Unfortunately, I haven't configured it, but anyway, uh, my, my bad. I can, I can have the company share, okay? I can, I, I can just click on it. And the, the file structure that I have access to as an IT user pops up. If I come as a different user, like a sales user, a different uh, tree directory will come up. I can be asked of my credentials if I haven't enabled the uh, automatic, um, um, how to put it? Um, I, can, I can have my credentials that I log into this portal to be pushed automatically here, okay? In this case, in this share, I haven't, I haven't put the automatic push, but, I can show you that another resource that I have. So if we, if we go to page two and we go to remote desktop connection, so we will emulate, we will emulate this remote desktop connection via HTML5. I have already told you about it. Okay. So I'm connecting to my uh, to my uh, station to my um, AD station 
as an IT user. Do you see it here? So I'm already an IT user, okay? I, I, I was not asked about credentials. So if I enter the desktop, I enter the desktop as an IT user and I can do the management that an IT user is allowed to do on this station, okay? Let's close this uh, emulation of remote desktop connection. And how about we log off as an IT user? And please remember that my resources is just one click away. So anything that I'm pressing is just one click away. Okay. Uh, if I would like to see the interface of the, of the SMA, I can go here. Okay, so I put a resource that I would like to see the interface of the SMA here directly. Okay, um, clear. Well, actually, let's close this one. So again, remember we have two web page, two pages with resources here. Let's log out as um, as an IT user. Close. Yes. And uh, let's open again. Okay. So HTTPS. Uh, do I have it? I don't. Uh, SMA.armor.ro. So again, one single portal for everyone. Next. And now I'm not connecting as an IT user, I'm connecting as a sales user. And password. Okay. Now I'm being checked again. My station is being checked if I match all the security. Um, recommendations a VPN automatically started for me to connect to the to the resources of the company and see I have different resources and there they have different layouts so me as a sales user I have my own sales workplace here it is and it looks different from the IT workplace okay and uh, again uh, the automatic VPN started behind me so uh, me as a sales user uh, maybe I didn't even notice that Okay, so different users belonging to different categories will have access to different resources. And they're grouped, so it is very easy to access. Me as a sales user, I don't need to search for my resources. Can you imagine, let's say I am being employed today in the company, I'm new to Sonicol, maybe this is my first day in Sonicol. Uh, what resources do I have access to and with what credentials? Well, if I have a portal like this one, I connect to the portal and there they are. These are all my five resources. I shouldn't search for more because there aren't any. Of course, if the administrator can't put all of them here. So let's log out. This is the user experience. Okay, this is what users are seeing. He's seeing just a portal, he's connecting, and then his credentials are being taken, and you can push into any single application that I have. I can put on that web portal, Office 365, G Suite, CRM, Salesforce, whatever. Okay, so I create a, a one unique place for all the users to log in. So now uh, let's see just in, in very shortly how the uh, interface looks like. So this is the interface. Uh, why? I haven't, oh yeah, I haven't been connected for 168 hours. Okay, awesome. It's still working, so don't worry, this is not disabled. And this is a warning because I've been very tough with it. I've been medium tough with it. Okay, we will leave it like this. We don't touch it. So basically, what you have seen, those Armored, Armored Partners, and Armored Mobile, these are called realms, and you create it from here, from the realms. But actually, realms are the last thing that you will create, and it's a combination of all the other, other resources that has to be available until you create the realm. So you will start with authentication servers. Okay, you will create first your authentication servers. And we have quite many options. Okay, we have basic Active Directory, we have advanced Active Directory, we have classical LDAP protocol. So if you're if you don't use Microsoft, but instead you're using the Linux or other operating system, just go with LDAP. We have a uh, one identity defender, we have uh, PKIs, we can have um, RSA authentication manager, so basically we can have uh, federated single sign-on. If you have federated single sign-on, this is a great way, a great way to, to go. Um, and then, depending on what you're choosing, you have uh, other possibilities to, to configure. Okay, let's say I'm choosing one identity defender, I'm saying continue, and then I'm being uh, 
presented with a personalized information about how to connect to it. And uh, then you'll create resources and all the links, all the links that you have seen there are actually resources, okay? Um, the remote desktop connection, this is a resource. The link to access my files, this is a resource. Uh, the, the actual internet, it's a resource. The VPN that's, that's uh, connecting automatically, it's a resource. And I can create other resources, okay? Like specific URLs. Um, maybe this is what I need to create right now, a URL for the users that cannot log in. Okay, if you have an issue. Names, IP, network, share, subdomain, subnets, sorry, Windows domains, uh, server, servers of any kind or server farms, if you have um, high availability at the time, this one goes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you, can, um, you can have users and groups. So after you connect to your Active Directory, just like on the firewall, you start taking the groups from the Active Directory and then you start to apply those groups to different resources. Okay. You create workplace. Workplace is you take some of the resources for sales and you put it in a place called sales. You, you take the resources available for IT and you put it for the IT. And you can have um, different styling, different colors, different logos for those guys, different for IT, different for sales, different for partners, etc. etc. Okay. And uh, you have um, agent configurations as well, so you can decide uh, um, uh, which is matching which. Uh, you have capture, but for that, you will need to group all the SMAs under um, uh, uh, CMS, uh, which is done very simple, but is not the purpose of this training. And then you can enable um, capture advanced threat protection. Okay, and after you have finalized, you can add services, etc. So after you have finalized with creating the resources, then you go and you actually create a realm, okay, new realm. So you give a name, let's say uh, new realm, something like this, and you click next. Uh, sorry about that. You choose uh, one form of authentication. I have only two, so I'll choose one of those two. And then you start to add the, um, all the resources that are available. Then you start to add the rules that are available. And then you, you click next. For instance, I can add the community. Okay, I then, then I will choose the resources for them. The difference between the SMA and the firewall is that you create configuration changes. Okay, you create configuration changes, but these are not immediately activated. There is this pending changes button sorry about that there is this uh, pending changes button so once you are happy with all the modifications that you want to do you just uh, apply the changes okay and this is transparent this will not disconnect users okay uh, unless of course you change something so after you you have done this if we will connect one more time internet internet uh, uh, sma.amero.ro Okay, we, we have this new realm, okay, with new form of authentication. Uh, here can be two-factor authentication, depending on what you have chosen. okay. Uh, I know that this was a very fast-paced um, uh, session with WAF and secure mobile access. Uh, the most important thing to remember is that WAF is protecting web servers and SMA is for mobile users. Okay, so we can handle very well the mobile users. Now, with that being said, uh, hopefully you, you get a clear view what the user is seeing, what is the user experience on SMA. And with that being said, uh, we end the, today's uh, WAF and SMA session. I would like to thank you for your time. If you have questions, I'm still here. So now you can open your microphones and you can ask me questions or you can use the, uh, the chat, the, uh, the chat that is available to you. And uh, the big difference between uh, Firewall and SMA actually, and I have put a short movie about it, is that um, the Firewall offers network security and SMA offers um, access security. Okay, so this is the big difference. Hopefully uh, we can join, uh, next time we do an implementation, we can join forces between the firewall and the SMA. Again, thank you very much for, um, for being with me today and for uh, uh, being part of this session. Um, I end here.
the presentation, but I'm still here to answer your questions and take your, uh, your uh, chat. Okay, thank you again.